What's up, Florin here and today I'm going to give you the actionable tip on how you can achieve your goals. Jatin asked me, my biggest struggle lately has been finding the drive and motivation to hit the gym. Actually, I have a 7 days a week night job and I have my uni 3 days a week between all these. Even when I have the time to hit the gym, I just don't feel like it. It has been the same case with my diet as well. Can you suggest something? The problem with motivation is that motivation operates on the idea that you need a mental or emotional boost if you want to do something. On the other way, discipline is what makes you do stuff without relying on this type of mental or emotional boosts. There are many people that believe that uh, by reading motivational books or watching motivational videos they will somehow receive a permanent motivational boost that will like drive them towards their goals and uh, i'm talking about this because i was also in the situation i remember that i had like months in which i was like daily watching motivational videos just to get a pump uh, or uh, get that emotional boost to do something but that's completely wrong it hardly works on a consistent basis motivation has a short shell life you can get motivated right now and one hour later you can get like unmotivated again contrasting to that discipline is what keeps you going on in the long term and doing stuff forever so the first thing that you can do is to get disciplined to do the stuff that you have to do if you want to reach the body goals that you have. In order to be disciplined, you have to create healthy habits. Just like you wash your teeth, you wash your clothes, um, even eating is a habit. You, my friend, are a sum of all the habits you have. So a basic framework to achieve a good looking physique is quite simple to get. If you build this foundation, and to get disciplined on this foundation that I'm going to give you next, you are like 80% done when it comes to succeeding in achieving your goals, your body goals. So the basic framework is the following. Train 3-4 times a week, track what you eat and make mindful choices, sleep 7-9 to nine hours every night and take regular diet and training breaks when you feel the need to take them. It's all about priorities here, you know? I mean, for me, I prioritize my health, focus and aesthetics. So how do you create the discipline to diet and train in order to reach your goal physique? The main rule of thumb here is to just take them one by one. In order to not get overloaded by the amount of stuff that you have to do in order to progress, just break them down into smaller chunks and don't try to fix all of the things you have to do in one try. So you do that by picking a single roadblock that's sitting in front of you, work on that, overcome it, and then after you finish with it, just pick another one. You do that by creating a plan and put it on your schedule. So let's say you can train three times a week. The first thing you have to do is to just figure out when you can train those three times a week. Then. Think about when is the best time to train. Are you a morning person? Are you a late afternoon person? Do you have enough energy left after you work to go and train? If yes, just go then. If no, just try to go in the morning. It's the same with eating. Determine how many meals you can eat every day and just pick the time when you think it's the best or when you have the time to eat them. There's no magic number, just go with 3 to 5 meals a day and you should be fine. But the secret here is making a plan. Don't leave your training and your dieting to the randomness of the day. That's how you forget to eat, that's how you get hungry, that's how you like uh, snack on fast food or on uh, high calorie foods. That's how you skip meals and that's how you basically binge it. Keep each task small and consistent. The next step is to try and control the occasional exceptions to your diet and training. So for example, if you are planning your training, just 
look on your schedule and see if there's something that can come up in your life or you have an, an upcoming event or something like that and plan a break for those days or when it comes to cheat meals or uh, training breaks try to schedule any type of cheat meal or training break for example after two to four weeks of successfully dieting and training towards your goals just pick a day of the week and uh, have a cheat meal or just pick a few days of the week and uh, take them off training and a last good and practical tip that I can give you that I personally experienced on my own skin is activating your commitment senses there will be days in which you won't be in the mood to train or to diet and that's perfectly fine it happens to all of us but now you are building habits and you're trying to get disciplined to do this on the long term so you have to somehow overcome that mood swing how do you do it so here is an example of what i'm doing when i'm not in the mood to train i just go into my kitchen prepare my pre-workout get my coffee bring them here and sip them why do i do this i basically created a mind switch that tells me the following flow you just took your pre-workout and your coffee you will have the energy required to go through your workout today is gonna be a hell of a workout see what i did here if you create the type of uh, mental switch i'm sure that uh, it can be a good tool that you can use in times when you don't have the mood to go to train or to eat the meal you planned to eat honestly there's no secret formula to this i mean there are many many people that are like pumping youtube videos or uh, writing books and long articles and stuff like that trying to like uh, sell you a specific like blueprint to go through this but what i just told you is basically everything you need to do in order to start creating healthy habits for you i mean it's not rocket science you just have to do it just do it now take a pen and a paper and write down what i just told you when it comes to dieting and training make the plan right now how long does it take i don't know two to five minutes to figure out when you can train when is the best time and when you can eat when is the best time to eat and consider this step the first step towards creating healthy habits that will hopefully help you go towards building your ideal physique and now if you know somebody that needs a motivational boost or better said that needs help with creating disciplined moves so he can start doing the stuff and not procrastinate just like and share my video with him he will thank you first and me later also subscribe to my channel and create the discipline to ask me questions and i will be sure to answer them make a commitment for yourself in the comment section below just write down in the comment section below what you want to achieve and what will you do to go towards your goal so write it down right now this was your actionable tip for today bye